Libra, welcome aboard. Welcome to your timeless reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements. Libra. This could be interchangeable, meaning vice versa. As we also have cross watchers. It could be he or she. You take it how it resonates for you. It'll be different for all of you as these are general, not personal readings. Okay? Remember, what doesn't resonate for you can and will resonate with someone else. Only take the messages that resonate. If you are somewhat resonating. All right? We're going to see what's going on for the sign of Libra. So these are going to be a lot quicker than I usually take, okay? Anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes, all right? Please hit that like button, Libra, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, let's see what's going on for my Libras. Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Okay. Inheritance, wealth, fortune, family, tradition. All right. So there's an inheritance. Ten of Pentacles. Inheritance is sticking out to me. Okay. The world in reverse. Okay. Delayed success, incomplete, failed attempts, and stagnation. So I have to say what's, what's ringing my bell here in my head is failed attempt and inheritance. Okay, especially with the world in reverse here. So let's see what else. You could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Nine of Swords in reverse. Nightmares, insomnia, anxiety, fear. Um, someone here, either you or someone here, could be having sleepless nights over whatever this is. Maybe you fear someone is trying to take your money or... Let's continue, okay? King of Swords, intellectual, mental clarity, authority, and logical. I'm getting authority with this or some sort of lawyer here. Let's see what else. The Fool in Reverse, okay? Holding back, recklessness, gullible, and distracted. Okay. Ten of Wands in Reverse. Okay, managing tax, uh, tasks, maybe it could be some, somebody could have maybe done their taxes late or something, maybe they have to pay out a lot of money because of taxes, you or this person, learn to say no, yeah, so somebody took on a lot of burdens here, they didn't, they needed to learn to say no, there's some sort of breakdown, okay, avoiding some sort of duty, wow. Someone took on, you know, the world on their shoulders is what I'm seeing here. While somebody, I feel, was trying to take and put all the burdens on them. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. Selfish. Overly. Um, overly sensitive, smothering, and spiteful. Queen of Cups in reverse is someone not nurturing, no self-love. They don't have any love to give because they don't love themselves. So they're selfish. They're a taker. They're emotionally unstable. Okay, this could be the person that's having sleepless nights. The sun in reverse. Ouch. So this is a situation where the sun is setting. There is no more happiness or joy in the situation. It's negative. It's depressive. There's sadness and false positivity. Okay. Somebody here could have came in as a queen of cups upright and the sun upright and uh, they were more of a negative Nancy so there's also a lack of uh, clarity here a lack of enlightenment it could have been done to maybe being too logical with a situation I mean damn but I feel like somebody now is determined to get the truth even if it meant hiring some sort of lawyer or detective here on someone four of pentacles yeah greed possessive hoarding control yeah somebody did not want this person or want you to move on from a situation they were holding on to your money holding on to you because of whatever this money is whatever you provided here that you took on you took on somebody's like karma or something yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. No control, breaking cycle, bad luck, disappointment. So clearly a situation that led to, 
you know, fortune not on someone's side. They were doing better till this person walked into their life, or what you were doing better till this person walked into your life. Five of Wands, arguments, aggression, chaos, and competition. Wow. A lot of drama with this Queen of Cups in reverse. Ten of Swords, then betrayal. Mistrust, overcoming defeat, escape, ruin, and surviving. Some of you survived a major uh, situation here. This is you, King of Swords. Energy here. Male or female. So this is you standing in your in your truth, speaking up finally for a situation that was overbearing, and you know, and now you're cutting it out is what I'm getting, and there is major drama with that person because they're trying to hold on to some type of money here. Um, there could be other people involved here. I'm also hearing gang stalking. Okay, so you escaped. A dire situation, a situation that could have went so far worse, okay, especially with the first thing that I heard was inheritance and failed attempt, okay, so I feel like some of you could be either going to court or you will be, or you have already went through this, again, this could be past, present, or future, and this could be play out for everybody differently, <sighs> bottom of the deck, nine of wands, yeah. Battle-worn, defensive, sickness, injury, time to heal. Yeah, it's like you went through the war here, and now it's a time to stand up for yourself and heal. Victory. Yeah, triumph, success, cele celebration. So you will be or are triumphant in this situation, but you went through the mill. All right. So you have to be that king of swords right now. Five of Cups, disappointment. Yeah, focus on, don't focus on failure though, okay? Sadness and regret. It was all to teach you something, okay? There's new opportunities here with the Seven of Cups, all right? There was illusions here, unfortunately, and a lot of confusion due to this Queen of Cups in reverse. And there's decisions that had to be made. But you had to kind of figure things out and put like two and two together here for you to be able to make the right choice and decision in this situation. You also had to see this person for who they truly were, which obviously they showed you their true colors. Yeah. So you were confused. Some of you were confused about who your twin was with the Seven of Cups and the Empress in reverse. Damn, man. Who had this energy? I think it was Taurus or Aries. Who had, no, somebody had a copycat. Who had a cancer energy? Yeah, cancer. So some of you could be dealing with a cancer or you have that in your chart. I would look at that reading. Okay, this was definitely somebody that brought a lot of smoke and mirrors. Confusion, seven of cups. Dependence, smothering, emptiness, nosiness, opportunist. Oh, I heard opportunist. It's opportunities, fantasy, illusions, decisions. So somebody here very well could have been an opportunist. Yeah, obsession, immaturity, vanity, and they're like the bear of bad news. They're just like, this person has bad karma. Yeah, it says eight of wands, meaning spirit here wants you to do it now. Swift movement, rapid events, direct action. Yeah, towards new love here. Creativity, emotional um, awakening, and fulfillment. Yeah. Yeah, we have cancer here. Chariot in reverse. Lack of control, lost aggression, self-doubt. Yeah. Yeah, magician in reverse. Oh, boy. Yeah, somebody wanted you to have self-doubt. They were doing... Magician in reverse is trickery, okay? It could be, um, you know, spell work energy. Out of touch, untapped talent, illusions. Somebody wanted you to be stuck and not have some sort of victory. They did not want you to move forward with this victory and love so somebody here could have you know really looked into your life you know what i'm getting this empress in reverse with the seven of cups is i feel like somebody pretended to be your twin but they weren't and which tells me that someone understood the twin flame journey so they looked into your life and they somehow presented themselves as the empress but 
they fooled you into thinking they had it together. So I don't know what they did or what kind of job they had at that time, but this is very calculative to me. You know, I mean, I'm a seer, so I'm going to see through the bullshit, okay? It's not about, you know, what people might think. Because some people, they, they like to say, um, you know, yes, there are people that project who they are unto others. That's what I feel like this energy does. But then there are people that see through the bullshit because they've been around those types of people before. And they've been played by those types of people. So it's easy to pick up on those types of people, especially when you do what I do as far as reading energy and uh, tarot and your intuition and the way you see things can really dive into the character of someone, their psyche. And, um, and clearly the cards are here to pretty much depict what the reader is already picking up on. And that's clear as day here. And this just, I don't know what they did to convince you. But the reason I'm, I'm stuck on that is because somebody here, I feel, was doing great. They were wealthy. You had it together. You had a happy family. You were doing great. Everything was like in sync. And then you entered some type of cycle here with a karmic energy that was everything but you thought what they were. And your whole world turned upside down. Like, literally, we have the world upside down. We have the Wheel of Fortune, meaning this was here to be fixed energy for a while because Saturn is involved here. Saturn is the ruler of karma. And it was here to teach you something. And it was about you setting boundaries, as you are now with the King of Swords. Okay? And not be so um, giving or gullible to, to people in this energy. And to be able to use your discernment around these types of people. This person created a shit ton of drama in your life. And they still don't want to let go. There's, so there's greed over money here. They're holding on to something here. And with the fool in reverse, it's not letting you move forward. But again, it could be because you're going through either a divorce or some sort of court deal. Or separation. Um, this could also be somebody you had a business with, you know, take it how it resonates. Or both. So, let's move on. So I'm going to use this, since we're talking about you and this karmic. Karmic exposed entrapment, okay? Maybe they had some, um, we have bad girl here. Maybe they had trap swag, okay? Maybe it was very sexual in nature. Maybe they were very kinky. I don't know. Male or female. Yeah, this person's in vindictive mode. They have a, points, a poisonous mindset. Therefore, they do toxic things. And it could be because they're toxic. And clearly, they have a lot of traumas. Yeah. I don't... You could be on a break. But Spirit is definitely trying to get you to move forward. We already saw that here. But this could be a breakup. I don't have a breakup card in here. So, yeah, reflection. Okay, taking a step back, time out. Definitely needed here. You know, so you're looking through this situation here. You are this person. Take it how it resonates. Okay, taking a closer look. Exactly, research. So you also don't, you, you know, you also don't want to misjudge anybody in this situation. But let me tell you what, I mean, the the reading is pretty clear yeah seeing the karmic for who they are so and you see this money here um yeah so you had to take a deeper look you had to really analyze this person some of you had to maybe even hire a spy or something like that yeah they are not happy together 
it's all fake. So you, you weren't happy with this person. Yeah. And exactly, your friends were telling you, warning you about this person. DM's friends have warned him about the karmic. Yeah, so you you or this person had their rose-colored glasses on for a while. But it was, you know, this, this person was uh, pretty good at how they came in. You know, in a very manipulative manner. Yeah, you were feeling like a caged lion. Like you didn't know what to do. At odds, yeah, the spark is gone. Seeking for answers. Yeah, it's time to get the hell out of Dodge. Divine Intervention. So Divine Intervention had to intervene. Because there was something you just weren't seeing. Or you were being taken for granted. Yeah, it's a backstabber. Yeah. Divine Masculine's mother sees right through the karmic. So your mother was seeing um, some telltale signs here. Yeah, in it for the sex. Unrequited. That could have been what you told your mother. Oh, I'm just in it for the sex. Yeah, traumas, destructive behavior. Yeah, you exactly. Fear, anxiety, overthinking, overwhelmed. This is how they had you feeling. I don't know, no, maybe, yes. You didn't know when, if you were coming or going. So your music wasn't your escape, okay? Or this person's escape. The bad outweighed the good in this situation or in this connection. Did not allow the situation to overtake you. You were stronger than you think that you're stronger than this so you were the light in this darkness in this um storm here yeah divine masculine's constant state of mind was what the fuck yeah you were dealing with someone verbally abusive ruthless exactly that would be the that queen of cups in reverse with uh, the empress in reverse so the empress in reverse embodies all queens that are in reverse all negative qualities Ouch. That that's not a good time. I just thought of a deck that spirit wanted me to use here, so I'm gonna use it real quick. Hold on one second. You know, I feel like the whole explanation about being able to see through this person, you might have had some people in your life that were, like it says here, Divine Masculine Friends have warned him about the karmic. So you might have had some people in your life trying to tell you because they were on the outside looking in. There was no feelings involved there. You know, and, and when, you're, when your emotions aren't involved, people can see through the bullshit. Um, and you could have been in denial for some time, or this person. But people definitely saw through this facade that this person, this mask that this person was wearing. Okay? If they're verbally abusive and you're constantly noticing that they're using, like, your credit cards, going shopping, um, you're paying for everything, they don't even ask, you know, or, or they don't even, like, try... To help you out somehow some way or maybe they're lazy maybe you try to work with them and they were coming in late or they were putting all the burdens on you then you, you those are telltale signs you're not the right one yeah this person has tricks up their sleeves look out there's a snake in the building So there's somebody else here. Magnetic aura, the honeybee, or this is how they came in. Yeah. So this is your new day. There's somebody else here. Great rewards. It's a new day. Gratitude, grateful, joyful. So you were confused there with the Empress in reverse in the Seven of Cups. There was someone else you were looking at and wondering if that was your Empress or not. I need you to stop being so enticing. Yeah, enticing. Thirsty for you. So you're magnetically drawn to the real honeybee, not the fake, not the fake twin. Yeah, you were dealing with a narcissistic personality. Get off that high horse. That's what this other person was in. Yeah, so there you go. If you made the choice already, you made the right choice. Pat yourself on the back. Or maybe this is what you were thinking. And it wasn't. 
the right choice. So you had options when you were choosing this empress and you decided to go, you know, the path of the biggest lesson of your life. You'll never forget this lesson, that's for sure. Could have been around fall season, electricity is in the air. This could be any year. It doesn't have to be last year. Yeah. Yeah. You thought you made the right choice is what I'm seeing here. So because this person presented themselves as an empress, but they weren't. They were everything but how they presented themselves to be. They were actually narcissistic. And narcissists are very strategic. Um, and it was a karmic relationship, hard lesson at hand. Okay. So surprises are on the horizon. So keep those arms open. All right. There's new ventures. This was just a part, a very tough part on your journey. There's a new venture here once you close this chapter out in your life. I see there is some drama still with this person. Um, there could be some unfinished things like finances and uh, court things, maybe a divorce for some of you, I don't know. But whatever this is, it's, it was supposed to be short-lived. Short All right, you are wishy-washy still when it comes to this new beginning. Okay, you have difficulty making concrete decisions, you are this person, and it's because you probably keep running into these types of people. So there's a lesson in there, um, and something that must be healed. So I'm not even with you, and it worries me that someone else is courting you. So because you have been wishy-washy, you're kind of seeing clearer who's who here. You're, you're worried that this because this I know this has taken a long time especially with Saturn here in the world and the uh, Wheel of Fortune here in reverse so this could be a few years here and um, you know maybe you want to send this person a gift or something an unexpected gift will be soon be yours or somebody's trying to get you a gift envious you just make it look easy yeah <laughs> maybe somebody's yeah Exactly. This is your twin flame. Eternal flame 1111. Okay? An unexpected gift will soon be yours. So you could have been watching your real twin for some time. And um, maybe they were a guide to you. Or you've been a guide to this person. But they didn't know you were the twin because they thought the other person was. Because of the way they presented themselves. Like I said, when they chose that empress they were also looking at you and there could have been several other people there with the seven of cups but they felt they made the right choice and they they made the choice of the narcissist okay so it was bad judgment but they had to go through the lesson especially if you want this twin twin flame connection to come together you guys both have to be in a higher vibration and aligned with with thyself so now mercury retrograde a blast from the past we're entering in Mercury retrograde here. I have shown my family and friends your pictures. Great feedback. But there we go. This person has control issues, needy, codependent, toxicity, and jealousy. And someone wants to open up about how they feel. So look what happened. You see what I'm saying? The choice is yours. So here you are and this person was already showing your pictures before they even said anything to anyone or well to you okay I feel like this was somebody crushing on you and then this person came in which is the narcissist the person has control issues they're needy codependent and toxic jealousy and then someone opened up about how they felt about this person and then it created a choice the choice is yours follow your intuition I think that they were wrong, unfortunately, with their intuition because they were dealing with someone with trap swag. The best lover, hands down, can you handle this? That's what happened here. You are my most dangerous addiction. A taste of you just wasn't enough. So somebody came in hot. Okay. A new crush surrounds you. Wink, wink. wink. I'm addicted to your essence. And now they've lost interest. Next, please. You could have lost interest. Whoever however this resonates somebody lost interest okay 
And they were, I feel like they were dealing with a player, even if it was a female or you, whoever was in a karmic relationship. Wow. Oh man, these karmics. Yeah. Some people are like really smart in a very dark way. And that's this karmic. Codependent, nasty, but so fucking manipulative, it's scary. It's scary how strategic and manipulative this karma came in. Alright guys, well, uh, let's see here. Let's just get a few cards and then we're 25.55 on the clock. So 555, very significant. It's time for balance, restoration, it's time for new beginnings. Um... This was very difficult um, indeed. What is currently happening here? Okay. So they all came out in twos. Two, two, two is significant. Yeah. So you caught them red handed. Or this masculine caught this karmic red handed. They thought they could really make things work with the karmic because they, they thought they met a twin. That's what I'm getting. Okay? We have moving and keeping their options open. Okay, maybe at the time they were going through some type of move or transition. And we have not uh, thirst for knowledge with hyperactive mind so somebody could be constantly you know reinventing themselves or gaining knowledge and you know learning new things this could be you or them wow so this karmic even had them thinking some things about you the masculine is going up against you with this karmic they were completely brainwashed I can tell you that much. I can see it here. It says, talk about fucking. Wow. Strategic. Look at that polyamory. Over it. Drunken stupor. Yep, that's what they got with. And polyamory. Yep. It was all fun and games. It was all lust. It was all lust. Your purpose will make you very wealthy. Some of you, you know, if you're not the one in the situation, um, you were in your purpose or you just decided to, maybe you were over it and decided to, you know, do your thing. Yeah. You had no more fucks to give. Because this person could have been scared of the unknown. And you knew it intuitively. Yeah, if some of you, your counterpart is in the public eye. Who else got this? Leo got this. Okay. So, something about cancer and Leo here. Hidden secrets. Yeah, they have hidden secrets. Yeah, they were dealing with a karmic soul tie. That's why they thought they made a twin. So, just because you have a past soul tie doesn't mean it's going to be good. What happened in that past life? Not Nothing good. Same thing. And they had to clear this this lifetime. So, this masculine um, didn't honor you in the past life. Basically, they, they fell for the same person. In a different body, of course. Yeah, they can't stand that they can't take you down. So, they tried taking you down. Yep, there's the gang stalking. I was getting that here with the Five of Wands. You're on a whole new level. So, this bitch had other people watching you. They knew who you were. So, somehow they knew that you were one of the options when they first got with them. Or, somehow they saw it. You gotta remember, this person is very strategic. So, it's like... They're like 10 steps ahead or 20 steps ahead in a very strategic, dark way. Okay? Doesn't mean it's going to work for her, obviously, or him. It's going to blow up in their face, whoever this karmic is. I mean, they had this person convinced. 
Life of the party, lost without you. Situation has expired. So there you go. Dedicated something to you. And we have somebody here where music is their escape. So somebody likes to write music here. We do have your, your counterpart is in the public eye. So somebody opening the hookups. Curable STD. Pet court case legal system. We did have polyamory, so this person could have been into polyamory as well, sleeping around, you know, spreading all them good germs everywhere. Oh boy. Anything else? You only live once, yeah. <laughs> You only live once. You you, you got free choice. Till that shit blows up in your face. And it starts eating away at your privates. And your mind. Your soul. Yep. And they were trying to steal their money. Can't make it up. Yep. <laughs> right next to. Man. This can't be more clear guys. This cannot be more clear. That's why I'm saying. I can see these strategic people. I don't even have to meet them. Okay? I got Tarot and my spirit team for that. And my own intuition. Trying to steal your money. Karma keeps buttering divine masculine with lies about how they are meant to be. This person is trying to portray to be an empress when they're not. They're a karmic it's a karmic soul tie, but it ain't no damn empress. It's a fake twin. An empress is not going to act this way. They're not this low vibrational. Somebody could be from a foreign land, or there was some sort of travel. Maybe there was a long distance connection. Bisexual. <laughs> and sleeping with your friend. Oh boy. So whether he had male or female friends, it didn't matter. This person, this, this, this karmic didn't give a fuck, boy. Anxiety, I want to talk to you. I just don't know what to say. Head over heels over you. Resentment. Mm. It's raining Benjamins. <laughs> yeah, it was for a while. While you were out sending them good vibes, they misjudged you. Never going back. That could be what some of you are saying. This person was humiliated. Or whoever was in this connection. Because they were allowing the ego to get in the way of something beautiful. So he got humbled. He or she. You snagged a good one. And no inner work has been done here with crush so this this was a crush basically and uh, they they couldn't see because they had no no inner work was done there they want to interact with their crush more now now that they see the truth dating I'm not sure we can just be friends but I'd like to start somewhere storyteller abortion well driving by your house <laughs> long-term commitment unrequited situation yeah they're pretty much done there but a lot took place for for some time there oh wow Libra take it how it resonates so you're either the person the king of swords that was in the situation or you know you're cross watching you, you could be the feminine watching for a situation like this either way man I think I don't know a lot of damage has been done here somebody was very manipulated manipulated but at the same time you know I feel like they started looking taking a closer look and doing research a little too late okay some of you like just kind of moved on you know you, you felt the connection I felt with this person um, I don't think it was really talked about I feel like that other person came in like 
maybe right at the time where they were going to say something or ask you out, but because this person kind of snuck in there somehow with a lot of sexual energy and charm and charisma, okay? This narcissistic person, they knew exactly what they were doing. And it was all about, these celebrities got to be careful, or influencers. When people see that you have a lot of money and you're flashy about it, or it's known, like publicly known, you're going to get a lot of clout chasers with these types of stories. This is why I talk about this heavily, because it, not, not only just because it comes out in the cards and in the readings, but because you can't trust everybody. Not everybody's trustworthy. You have to use your discernment. And that's exactly why this lesson is here. Alright, that's why the King of Swords is right here. Okay, ready to chop it down. But, you know, it took a while to get in that energy. But hey, to each his own, right? Everybody learns at their own time. I, I've learned I've learned my lessons as well, you know. That's why I could smell the bullshit when it, when it's in front of me. But anyway, I wish you guys the best, and uh, that's all I got. Peace.